I'm Arlen McFarlane and I'm the Curious Gardener. I'm here today with Garrett Gillespie of Boreal Compost. Can you tell me what we need to make a good garden bed for growing? Well, we need soil compost, soil amendments, plants, and we need water. Here we have our in-house blend of topsoil. This is sand, silt, and compost, which we produce. And now we've got compost. Wow, it looks fantastic. We'll put on about an inch of compost over the top of the bed. Scientists are still trying to figure out exactly what compost adds, but it works. It contains all the minerals and nutrients that we know of, but it also contains living organisms, which help stimulate plant growth. We make this from uh, the City of Whitehorse's uh, food scraps. Our role as composters is to encourage uh, Mother Nature and all the little microbes to do their thing. How long does that take? In this climate I've found we can actually get the compost through the, the main stage of heating and transformation in about 100 days. Next we'll add some minerals to our soil. Whitehorse soil always needs some extra minerals to help balance out the minerals that are in there. Do we just leave them laying on the top like this? Now we dig it in. One of the uh, unfortunate realities for gardeners in the Yukon is that our soil, our native soil here is very very young. The uh, soil that you'd find on the prairies is in the millions of years old, whereas our soil is about 10,000 years old. So now we're ready for planting. What have we got here? Well, we've got some potatoes, some sturtiums, and we have broccoli and cauliflower. And we'll just poke a little hole about four inches deep and stick them into the hole and cover it up and we'll put about 10 inches between each potato in, in each direction. We start the uh, broccoli in these plug trays and so we put one seed in each cell and this gives us uh, our transplants and the idea behind the transplant is that helps us get plants growing faster and sooner. How far apart do broccoli need to be planted? It varies a lot depending on the variety of broccoli. If it's an old uh, heirloom variety, sometimes they need huge amounts of space, like two feet between each plant. If it's a hybrid market variety, it may only need maybe 10 inches between each plant. And I see we've got a pansy here. I'm a big fan of having flowers in the garden and nasturtiums. They uh, produce beautiful flowers and they're very, very wonderful to look at and brighten up your garden. They attract insects and birds. The flowers are very tasty and some people even like the leaves too as well. By pressing them down like that, does it allow the water to well around them? Well, it does do that. The main thing here is, is that we ensure that the roots have got really good contact with the surrounding soil. You see the roots there will immediately start to grow out into the surrounding soil when there's good contact. So is there any particular kind of technique uh, to watering there, Garrett? The middle way is the best way. That is that you don't put on too much at one time and just a little bit and more often is really the best way of watering. Okay, well, the garden's all planted. We're having a cup of tea and just being happy about our work. I want to thank Garrett Gillespie from Boreal Composting for helping us prepare and plant a garden bed. I'm Arlen McFarlane and this is The Curious Gardener.